Today is March the 30th, 2017, and um, I just got these little uh, filters in, bought them off of eBay, and uh, I left some feedback, and I noticed that uh, different people, some of them said they worked great, some of them said they didn't work great. Well, uh, let, let me show you how they perform. This one right here, let's start with this one. No, let's start with this, sorry. This is, says it uh, blocks 88 to 108 megahertz. It's a called 88 to 108 megahertz band stop. And the other one is a 2.4 megahertz HPF, high pass filter. So let's see how they measure. We'll measure both of them. It, it's quick and easy. What I'm using here is uh, Hewlett Packard uh, signal generator. I've got it set for 100 megahertz. We'll do the 88 to 108 one first. Set it for 100 megahertz. And um, we're going to vary that, of course. And uh, the spectrum analyzer I've got set for uh, 100 megahertz mid frequency. Uh, with a, I think I set it for a 60 megahertz bandwidth, so we can watch 30 megahertz on each side. I've also got it set up right now for zero dBm. I, I always use, if you like your spectrum analyzer, you should be very careful and uh, pr protect the front end of it. I always use a 20 dB attenuator here and a DC block. So even though I've got this set up for 0 dBm, I have 20 dB of attenuation here, which brings it down to that second mark. If I took this attenuator out, then the pulse would be up at the very top. But we're going to set this up for 10 so we can get the best signal, strongest signal we can. See, now we're up just 1 from the top. Uh, this won't go up to the 20 dB. So there we go. And then what we do is uh, we, we set up here in the, uh, we'll just set it up to change one megahertz at a time and as I uh, vary this knob right here we'll, we'll see this we'll see this changing and we can see that you know what we're looking at so we're going to scan it manually uh, down 30 megahertz which would be down to 70 megahertz down here and 130 megahertz up there. So that's what we're going to look at. So we can see that our, our signal generator and spectrum analyzer are in perfect condition. We have no variation along the line here. So let's put the filter in and uh, see how it performs. Okay, without touching anything else, I've inserted the filter. It doesn't matter, you can put it either way. So all I've done is put the filter in line with what we were measuring a second ago. We're still at 100 megahertz, as you can see right there. And uh, there is our attenuation. It is enormous. Remember, we were up here at, uh, at 100 megahertz. It's attenuated 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, better than 50 dB. Now, as I vary this, we will see, let me get steady here. As I go down in frequency, we will see that it's still a lot of attenuation all the way down to, and there it's, see it's attenuation. It's not attenuated at all right there. As you can see, it came all the way back up. And that's at 74 megahertz. No attenuation. We'll see it go right back down. It's doing an excellent job is what it's doing. It's working great. And there it's, uh, there's no attenuation again there at, uh, right there. Right there at uh, 122 megahertz. So this thing's doing a beautiful job of attenuating 88 to 108 megahertz. Let's see, let's set this guy to 108, which is the top of the range. 108, see, it's way down here. It's down 10, 20, 30, it's down 50 dB at 108 megahertz. I'm gonna dial over to 88. If I'm keeping the camera right, there's 88 megahertz, still down 50 dB. So it's flat, 50 dB down from 88. See, there's our 88. It's flat, deep, uh, 50 dB down from 88 to 108 megahertz. It's even down more, about 55 dB at 105 megahertz. So, if you are having problems with um, FM broadcast getting in on, on your little RTL SDR. This guy right here works. It's doing a good job. That's the uh, 88 to 108 uh, megahertz 
what they call it stop band band stop filter let me pull it let me pull it off here again so you can see it well <laughs> it's kind of hard to work with one hand uh, well, anyway you know what it is okay let's go ahead and, and test the other one now okay now this is the other filter this is a 2.6 megahertz high pass filter it's a different kind of filter and uh, when, when you see how it performs you'll understand what I mean I've got the uh, see I've got the center frequency at 2 megahertz which is uh, this one set up for 2 megahertz and it's a uh, megahertz wide no, the span is 2 megahertz. I'm sorry. So it'll go from 2 megahertz. It'll go from 1 to 2 to 3. So it'll scan, uh, we can scan from 1 to 3 megahertz. At 2.6 megahertz, it's down 10, 20, 30, a little about 35 dB. And as I vary the frequency, so I'm going to vary it down here in 10 kilohertz at a time. But as we go up in frequency, we got basically no attenuation right about right there which is a 2.58 megahertz 2.6 right there so it's not attenuating anything above 2.6 megahertz and as we go down in frequency the attenuation starts starts dropping off considerably see it's down wow it's down uh, 10 20 30 40 it, it's down 50 db right there at 1.87 megahertz that's just right above the AM broadcast band and then it goes down further it goes down to minus 60 DB at 1.73 megahertz and it's going to continue all the way to DC it never gets better so we're we're scanning down 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 well we're, we're down to 1 megahertz right there and it, it, even if we go lower it just nothing happens it's not passing anything so this uh, high pass filter what it does is it's going to block everything it's, it starts attenuating at 2.6 megahertz and the lower you go in frequency the more it attenuates all the way down to DC so you, you got to realize what it's doing for you uh, in case you buy one and try to use it it's going to block the AM broadcast band which is basically from about 550 kilohertz up to about 1.6 a little bit more than 1.6 megahertz it's going to do a beautiful job of blocking that but it's not but in, in essence it's not going to it's going to attenuate everything below 2.6 megahertz so if that's what you need this guy works and uh, this guy right here works at blocking the 88 to 108 megahertz range this one blocks the range from 2.6 megahertz down so there you go that's the evaluation of a couple of these little uh, rtl sdr uh filters they work great i'm not affiliated with them or sell them or anything but uh, i just thought a, a real evaluation of it might be uh, valuable to some of you guys